I learned today that his middle name was Isidore. <laughs> his passing saved him a lot of grief. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know that. Oh, wow. I'm going to get through this, Hadassah. We all will. Um, so the common bond, why are we all here? We love Joe, right? And he loved us. And to be loved by Joe Luberman is an experience you will never, ever forget. Uh, his dad owned a liquor store. My dad owned a liquor store. Good training for the job in which we're talking about today. <laughs> <laughs> Good training for religious people. Um, so I loved him like a brother, and I never had one. The three amigos. You can't see this, but you can come up and see it later. Uh, we're on some 130 going somewhere in Kevlar. <laughs> John's reading a book. Joe is looking at his phone, and I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most accurate picture in the world about the three amigos. Now, how did this happen? You know, Al, you talked about your partner and all the things he did, and Susan, what a great summary of uh, legislative accomplishments. But people got to remember, <clears throat> after 9-11, Joe changed. Joe was always a social liberal, always the nicest guy in the room, the smartest guy in the room. But after 9-11, uh, that night, I talked to him going across the street. He said, Lindsey, boy, we can never let this happen again. And from that came the three amigos. And from that is the highlight of my life. So much to talk about in such a short period of time. Everybody's got a Dalai Lama story. Here's mine. <laughs> We're at the Wailing Wall. This is how it begins. John's running for president. So me and Joe are just going wherever John goes and making it up as we go. <laughs> So John is supposed to go to the Wailing Wall and Western Wall and put his hand out, and that's the money shot for the Israeli press. What did I learn at the Wailing Wall? Do not get between the Israeli press and John McCain. So they crush me against the wall, and I began to wail. So it's actually, <laughs> help me, help me. Joe got me up. So I wrenched my knees, fast forward, the next stop, somehow, is we meet the Dalai Lama in Colorado. You can't make this stuff up, right? So I'm sitting over in the corner because I'm barely walking. Joe brings the Dalai Lama over, and he says, uh, I want you to meet my good friend, Lindsey Graham. I said, hey, Dolly, I mean, hello. I don't know. What do you say to the guy? <laughs> hello, Dolly. <laughs> He's hurt his knee. Can you help him? So he puts his hand on my knee. The Dalai Lama does, not Joe. <laughs> and he goes, mmm, mmm, mmm. Uh, and he says, is it any better? And I said, no. And he said, I didn't think so. <laughs> Anybody met Gaddafi? You didn't miss a lot. So, <laughs> Susan, you might have been there. So John had all these great ideas and some not so good. This was one of the not so good ideas. Let's go meet Gaddafi. I said, why? Well, anyway, so we go meet him. We drive around in the middle of the night, and we go to this tent, and this guy's jacked up on everything you can put in a human body, and he's got Amazon women bodyguards, and I'm trying to find a way out of here. So he starts out talking about the great scourge of mankind. It's not climate change in his eyes. It was Switzerland. We're here with this nut job, <laughs> surrounded by all these people with guns, and he went on and on about how we should dismember Switzerland and give it to the French, the Italians, and the Germans. And it was always John, Joe, and me. John quickly said, I'm going to let Joe speak first. <laughs> Joe said, I never really thought about it that way, but I've learned a lot, and I appreciate having met you. Uh, <laughs> so we live to tell about it. The last quick story. John read somewhere 500 people were killed in one of the stands 
protesting against the government. So John called me and Joe said, we need to go. And I said, why? <laughs> Joe said, 503 sounds better to John. There was no place that John and Joe wouldn't go to show up for all the right reasons. And I'm here to tell you it was the highlight of my life to be around those two guys doing things that mattered at a time of great peril, being able to laugh. Your husband, your grandfather, your father was the coolest dude on the planet to me because he, he could deliver Henny Young and jokes, just endless jokes. I am so blessed to have known him. Adjective, he was humble, right? Confident. He knew Iran was bad and nobody was going to convince him otherwise. And he believed we should see it through in Iraq and he's willing to lose for it. That's confidence. He had confidence in who he was and what he believed. He was kind, incredibly kind to me, but strong. Strong to the point he would give what most of us would never think about giving up, our job in politics. That's strong. He was religious to the point of enough already. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any orthodox people here? Raise your hand. Too many rules. Uh, Joe could tell you when it was sundown any place on the planet, on a Friday. I don't care where we were, he knew it was sundown. What did I learn? When it was sundown on Saturday, so we didn't have to do this anymore. So I learned a lot. Finally, uh, Vice President Gore. Joe Lieberman convinced me from South Carolina to do a climate change, change bill with him and John Kerry which means he's the most persuasive person <laughs> on the friggin' planet. <laughs> he sold me hook line, and, hook, line, and sinker, and the problem is real. And we met, and we met, and we met, and we talked, and we talked, and we talked, and Joe kept me in the game. And so what did I learn? A lot about climate change. And I got a restraining order against John Kerry. So that was a... <laughs> An incredible experience. So from the time I met the man until the time he passed, uh, I was better off for having met him. Hadassah, he was the love of your life. Uh, to the family, I know he's your patriarch and your, your rock. It ought to make you feel good to the grand. You're trying to save Social Security, honey, you're doing your part. To all the grandkids, I hope you'll listen to all the things being said about your granddad. He was a wonderful man. And one of the best things that ever happened to Lindsey Graham was to meet Joe Lieberman. So until we meet again, my amigo, God bless.